naked. I'm excited, even though it started off as a rainy day. I love how the sun just like peeks out and be like, voila, I see, here I am. <laughs> it's so nice. I like it. I like how like when it starts the morning off as a rainy day, it just turns out the sun is coming out. And the sun comes out tomorrow. Okay, never mind. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning into another video. I um, pray that you are doing awesome on this wonderful, fine summer, summer, summer month. And prepare yourself for the feast day of the Sacred Heart of Jesus this Friday and the feast day of the Michael Heart of Mary, which is literally this Saturday. So prepare yourself, prepare yourself for the awesomeness that our Lord Jesus, our Blessed Mother Mary, is bestowing right upon you right now. And just take it all in. Just be like, Lord, what do you want me to do for you today? God, what do you want me to do today to glorify you? Our Blessed Mother Mary, what do you want? How? Please give me the strength to be able to give Christ, your son, Jesus Christ, my unconditional yes, even though I may be in the midst of unknowing and you leading me to pathway, I'm like, what? What? Why? Why? I'm scared. What the? I have no idea what the heck is going on. Yeah. So in times like that, you just surrender and you just submit yourself to Christ. You should be like, yes, Lord, your servant is listening. Simple as that. I know it's easy to say, but Honestly, with the grace of our Blessed Mother Mary, you are able to just do it. And honestly, it takes time. Honestly, it does. Because you constantly struggle within yourself and what you're called to do all the time. You always have that internal battle within yourself, that self-conflict. It's just like, I want to do this, but then I'm scared. That hesitation, right? Don't ever feel that hesitation when it comes to Christ. When Christ is leading to you in a pathway that is calling for greatness, sacrifice, suffering. Just know at the end of the day that at the end of that tunnel, there will be greatness. There will be victory. You will be great for the glory and grace of God. So just stop being, stop actually suppressing your subconscious mind. Like our Lord speak to, speaks to us there all the time. So allow yourself to just flow to our Lord Jesus Christ and always immersing yourself in his fount of mercy and love that he always gives you every single day, right? So just immerse yourself in that and stop suppressing your sub subconscious mind. Even though our Lord is telling you, go this way, but then you're fighting with your within yourself, being like, well, no, uh, no. Like, just be like, Lord, lead me there. That's all and try. You got to do your part to try because God doesn't force you to love him, right? 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 So because of our free will that he loves us so much that he gives us that free will to love him. And we, it's our call to reciprocate that love back to our Lord so much through our actions, through our thoughts, through our words, how we treat those around us. So utilize your beautiful gifts my friends utilize all of your beautiful gifts talents and skills every single day don't let it perish with the world when you can make time for christ do so accordingly do so accordingly don't just fall into the world now the restrictions are starting to be lifted slowly but surely i mean thank you god that we actually have public mass for this weekend just in time for the feast day of sick heart jesus and immaculate mary which is awesome and i'm so happy so excited for that and yeah so even more reason you go to church i know the rat race is going to be getting tickets so book your tickets right away guys book your tickets to wars for christ literally be on top of your game when it comes to attending church in person because when you allow yourself to fall into that time of just going online if you can, if God knows you can personally go to like physical mass in person, you start to succumb into that what sloth, laziness, procrastination, and then so on and so forth. So don't allow yourself to fall into that trap because it's very, very easily easy to do that. Very easily, like when you have restrictions and whatnot, you become lazy, you tend to forget, you tend to think about other things. God knows what else you're thinking about. So yeah, just allow yourself to let god speak to you through your subconscious mind because god's always there but you have to know what is of god what is not of god but our gut intuition literally most of the time our gut intuition always right so follow it follow it as long as you feel that sense of peace in your heart to know that it's the right way to go then go do it stop running away stop running away from your subconscious mind because god's always there half the time be like knock knock my child my son my daughter this way this way. 
<laughs> not in a forceful manner, but in a loving manner. And honestly, our Lord speaks to us a variety of different ways. So always keep your heart and your mind and your ears listening, 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 and just not allow yourself to be clouded by the world. Because it's very easy to fall into that, especially as distractions start to arise. You know exactly what to do. Choose Christ's way. And there is where the journey begins as being a true word for Christ. So, at least the song that God's like to do is called Our Father. And I love it so much because it's literally Our Father Prayer. And it's so beautifully done. And it makes me happy. And singing for God, that is literally St. Augustus. He literally said, if you're singing, you're praying twice. So... Take upon that. You know, I mean, you don't have to be like the best perfect vocalist in the world, but as long as God can see your true intentions deep, deeply embedded in your heart, that's where the journey begins. And God will provide for you. God will bestow you graces to be better and better and better when you really have that dream for Christ. When you see that dream for God and bring all the souls back to him and having that zealous fire of Christ within your heart, just know. God will provide for you. When you have this much and you need like this much, God will provide for you as you go along. And you know that very well, my true word for Christ. So don't let discouragement, doubt, or fear, or insecurities, or any words, anxieties ever get to you. Because literally, as true words for Christ, we have the most powerful weapon, which is our Blessed Mother Mary, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, and God our Father. So with that said, and as I would love to say in all my videos, don't be afraid to be true words of Christ. Bye! The words of Christ pass down to generations The Son of God teaching us to pray Echo words, Father have your will, your hand Amazing grace, mercy for our sin. May we forget the way that you forgive. Yours is a kingdom of power and glory.
的。